Greetings everyone, Stefan is here. Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you something that probably is going to be very useful for you if you have the RE20, which is probably one of my favorite dynamic microphones. This microphone is epic, is great. Doesn't need introduction because probably you know quite a lot about this microphone, but this microphone is perfect, but it's very hard to find a shock mount for this microphone. The original shock mount that you can buy for the AD20, I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. It's big, it's super expensive, it's like $100, doesn't look good. And if I'm honest with you, I don't like it. Um, even if the price is okay, I don't think that this is, this is perfect because it's very big. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a shock mount that I purchased from United States. I live in UK, but actually this is being shipped from uh, Amazon US, which is great. I purchased this product to test it with the RE20. So if you're looking for a shock mount for your RE20, check this video, make sure to watch this video. I'm gonna leave in the descriptions down below all the links. I believe this product in the States costs around $12. Here in UK, I had to um, buy it for 25 pounds, which is perfect, still great price. So the dimensions of this shock mount are 47 millimeters up to 53 millimeters. The company is called Bosen. If I'm not pronouncing it right, I'm gonna leave it in the descriptions down below. So check the links. We're gonna test it with the RE20. We're gonna attach it to my uh, boom arm and we're gonna see how this will look like. Comes in two colors, comes in black and the same color as the RE20, but uh, for some reason I had the black version only. So I purchased the black version, such a shame, but yeah, I wish I can, if I had the same version as the RE20, I think they'll look nice, but maybe some people will like the black version. So let's unbox it now. Let's see what we have here. And this is our interesting microphone shock mount. Let's unbox it, ladies and gentlemen. Most of the generic shock mounts, they're not very good. They're plasticky, but actually this is metal which is quite cool so we have two separate um spare how do you call these things which is cool to have we have three eights to five eights if i'm not wrong and we have our interesting shock mount ladies and gentlemen Yes, this is metal. I can confirm this is metal and it's a little bit heavy, which is cool. Actually, let me pull the... So let's check how heavy is this shock mount. 126 grams. So as you can see, this thing is heavy. So it's good because it's made from good materials. I think it's gonna look great. Um, I need to remove this part because you don't need that. You need this part only if you attach it to just general normal uh, microphone stand. But if you attach the microphone to a shock mount, you have to remove this bit. And actually this is pretty cool. I bought it with the microphone. Only this part costs like 50 pounds, which is crazy. But yeah, without any further ado, let's, let's, let's attach it now to the my interesting shock mount, which I have here, ladies and gentlemen, which I did a review already. So if you wanna see this review, make sure to check the links in the descriptions down below. This microphone, a boom arm is very good.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the RE20 is attached to Bosin Universal Shock Mount. Again, this is not very expensive, but actually the quality is very good. This shock mount is going to cost you around $13 in the States and around 25 British pounds here in UK. So I was a little bit skeptical about the black color, but actually looks pretty cool. Looks decent. And I do like the finish uh, of this shock mount. And as you can see, now I can move it easy up and down, left. So pretty cool. Um, let me know in the comments down below what do you think. Again, the dimensions of this microphone shock mount is 47 millimeters up to 53 millimeters. So if your microphone is around this dimensions, it's perfect fit. But overall, I'm very pleased. So link in the description is down below if you want to purchase this product. Not sponsored, I purchased this shock mount by myself. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. As always, I'll see you in the next video.